y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, as you can tell from my intro, I am wanting to do um, a little bit different kind of video today. I've, I'm going to organize my makeup, and I thought you might want to do this with me. I'm going to show you where everything is right now, and then I'm just going to organize it and just keep the things in front of me that I actually want to use. Right now, I am all spread out. <laughs> so I'm going to show you where everything is now. On this little makeup organizer, it's supposed to be what I'm currently using, but what it's turned into is storage for my backups. So where I sit to get ready, I'm staring at all of my backups and they are just, it's too much. Then I have this spice rack, which I love, but I don't know that I want it sitting out on my desk. That's too many foundations to be picking between in the morning. So I'm gonna pick out two or three foundations. Up here, I have primers. All of these are primers. I'm gonna to try to pick out two or three primers, maybe just two to keep out. The lipsticks, yeah, I don't need that much. The drawers, I haven't decided. I, I may keep a lot of the drawers um, like they are with the backups because I can't see them. But I'm going to take this spice rack off of my desk and put it somewhere else and just pick a couple of foundations. That will free up so much room. Okay, the first thing I want to do is this area right here, which is um, primers and setting sprays. Okay, sorry. I'm going to try not to butt my tripod. Um, I have the Embryolisse up here. This is usually a moisturizer for me, but it makes my skin so pretty for a primer. But I'm going to take that out and put that with my skincare. So I'll get that out of the way. The Lancome La Base Pro. This is really pretty. I may leave this one out. The Lorac La Base, also beautiful. I may leave that out. These are all new ones. The YSL, and I think this is the gold one. Um, Happiness Sparkles told me about this, and I love it. It's nice and blurring. All three of these are new and very blurring. This is going to be hard. <laughs> I love them all. The Stila One Step Correct. I love this as a color corrector and a primer. I'm going to leave this one out because when my dark circles are bad, that gives them a jump start. So this is definitely staying out. Um, okay, then the Bobbi Brown Face Base. It, we're coming into winter, and I've heard this is kind of moisturizing, so I'm going to leave this out. And I love the smell of this. It's so fresh and zingy in the morning. Kind of a mellow citrus. It's beautiful. These two. The Becca Backlight and First Light. Do you see how much I've used of those? These are still some of my favorites, and I've made a good dent in those. So, you know what? I'm going to leave these out for my use-up. I think these were in my use-up that I've been neglecting. So, I'm going to leave these two out. I also have this Cover FX Gripping Primer. Okay, this needs to stay out, though. This needs to stay out because this actually makes foundations last longer. Doesn't just make my skin look better. It actually works. Okay, then I've got some highlighting type highlighting type primers. Okay, I really want to keep out my Charlotte Tilbury because I use that as a liquid highlighter as well, so I'm going to leave that out. And um, this Becca, this is an actual highlighter that I love as a primer, but I think I'm going to put this in backup. This is hurting, y'all. <laughs> this is really hard because I love them all, and I will eventually get them back out and use them. MAC Strobe is beautiful. But I'm keeping out my Charlotte Tilbury. This is older, and um, I need to use that. And my Becca's, so I'm going to put the MAC in backup. Okay, then I have a new one that I really love, this Smashbox Primerizer. This is a nice glow and a little bit of moisture. I feel like this is, would be, you know, it would be this or this. The Bobbi Brown. The Bobbi Brown and the Smashbox, they both give a nice glow. They both have moisturizing properties, so I'm going to leave out the Bobbi Brown for now, and then we'll get the Smashbox out um, after we use that up. Then I've got the Smashbox Primer Water, and I love this too. This gives the same kind of glow, I would say, as the Bobbi Brown, so again, I'm going to keep the Bobbi Brown out. Okay, the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. You would think from the name Wonder Glow, this has a big glow. It really doesn't really doesn't. It's a very light 
um, subtle glow on this. And I haven't really decided how much I love it. And I know I want to keep out the Charlotte Tilbury. The Hollywood Flawless Filter, I know I want to leave that out. This is so multi-purpose. Um, so I'm going to put the Wonder Glow in my actual backups. Okay, then I've got the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I don't like this one as much as the cover effects by about a mile. <laughs> I like the cover effects a lot better. So I'm keeping the cover effects out, and I'll decide about this milk another time, but I'm not going to leave it out. I honestly need to use this and decide if I'm going to keep it or not. It's a little bit on the chopping block. So the ones I'm keeping out are the Bobbi Brown Face Base, the Cover Effects Scripting Primer, the Stila One Step Correct, both of my Beccas that are, oh, those are really close to being used up, and the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. That gives me a nice selection of primers every day. So I'm going to keep those out, and then we're putting a good amount into backup. Okay, next for setting sprays. The ones that I have out, the ones I have out are the MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to leave one of these out because this is just a good basic take the powder look down or re-dampen a beauty blender. So I'm definitely keeping a Fix Plus out. I have a backup of the lavender and I'm sure I will love this, but I don't need two Fix Pluses out. This is going to go into backups. The All Matter by Urban Decay, I use that every day for my under eyes. It actually sets my under eyes well. It makes it last longer. And then I've got out the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I'm going to keep this out. So really, all I'm doing, because it's coming up on winter, and I spray this on a little beauty blender for my under eyes or my whole face, and it's a nice moisturizer. This is so good. I had the mini and ordered the full size. I love this. It has squalane in it, and it's very moisturizing. So really the only setting spray I'm putting back is the Fix Plus Lavender. Okay, for lipsticks, I am not going to go through all these lipsticks, or this would be an hour. But I will tell you the ones that I'm going to keep up there. I'm definitely keeping out a bosom friend that I pretty much use daily. It's a pale pink that I use over any nude liner. I'm also keeping out this L'Oreal Shine in 910. I use that daily. And in the wintertime, that's nice and moisturizing. I'm also keeping out a blankety. This is like bosom friend, but a little bit darker. And that's just a really nice pinky nude, a classic. Okay, out of these two, the Natasha Denona, I need a nude Beatrice. One of these is a backup and one of them I'm still using. Judging by the way, yeah, this is the one I'm using up. I'm digging it out. And that's a pinky beigey nude. So I'm going to put my backups in actual backup because this is a backup of that. Um, all of these right here are darker MAC shades. This is Snob, Myth, Cream Cup. And so I'm going to put all of these in backup. I use them some, but not enough to keep them out. So I'll put those where I can grab them real easy. Those are just um, less nude nudes. They have more pink in them. Okay, I have Lawless Platinum. This is more of a peachy nude. I don't know about that one yet. We'll decide about that in a minute. That's a, that is a really nice color, but I have several. I have the Kim, no, that's not it. I have the Kim KW that's kind of like the Platinum. And that doesn't have that much in it. So I think I'll keep this one out and use it up. But when I use it up, um, I may be tempted to repurchase that. But I'm going to keep that out and um, use it and then try not to repurchase it because I have others like it. Then this Gucci in number 100. This is Linda. And this is kind of unlike anything I have. It's like a grazy very neutral nude. I don't have anything like it. And every time I wear this on Instagram, people are like, what do you have on? So I'm going to keep out for a peachy nude, the Kim KW and the Gucci in Linda. Okay, then I also have Becca in Sugar. This is a great daily pinky beige nude. And I'm sorry I'm not swatching these, but this video would be five hours. Okay, then these are two Makeup Forevers that I haven't even really tested good yet. So I'm going to take these off my desk and put them with things I'm testing out. 
Oh, I forgot I had this because it's covered up with so many other things. Honey Love. This is beautiful. It is a beautiful, hold on, a little bit darker, a, a peachy nude. I'm keeping this out for a darker peach. I love that. Influentially It, this is a matte shade that is great, and I never use it because it's been covered up. I'm gonna put this in backup and remember it and get it out after I use like my Kim KW. Okay, then I've got a Lancome and Beige Mirage, another really great nude, but I'm keeping out Becca Sugar, and these are very similar. So I'll use my Becca Sugar and then I'll get that Lancome back out. Okay, then I've got a Maybelline in Purely Nude, and this gives my Kim KW a run for its money. If you can find this, I don't know if you can still find it, but if you can find this, well worth a purchase. This is, I love this as much as Kim KW. I've quit using it as much because I don't think I can find it. When this is out, I think that's it. But I'm going to leave it out so I don't forget about it. And um, I'm going to search that out for y'all. Okay, Matte Innocence. I already have out um, a ton of other peaches. Putting that in back up. Along with this, oh, another Purely Nude. I did find it. I'm going to find that and link it for y'all. This, seriously, if you can get your hands on this, this is as good as Kim KW. So I'm keeping out a Purely Nude and my Kim KW and Gucci. And my Maybelline is as good as these two, y'all. Okay, then I have a cream sheen in Cream de Nude that lightens, <laughs> that's so dirty, um, that lightens other lipsticks, and um, I love this shade, but I'm going to put it back out, back up. I have enough of the peachy nudes. Okay, another primer that's gotten lost over here, this Makeup Forever Matte Primer. I never wear this. I don't really need a mattifying primer. Okay, and that's all my lipsticks. So, we are putting... These are the ones that we are taking out, and these are the ones that we are keeping in these. So that's an improvement. Okay, and for glosses, this is going to be super fast because I'm going to keep out a peach and a pink. Um, this Patrick Ta is really nice, but that's not the one I'm keeping out. That's like a, a good pinky lavender color. I'm keeping out this Marc Jacobs in French Tickler. I'm keeping this out. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but I need to use this up. It's about two years old. So I'm keeping this out, and I'm also keeping out Peach Daiquiri. This is my favorite peach gloss, and I, I want to use it. I'm not going to punish myself <laughs> for my use-ups. I'm going to keep this out beautiful. I fell in love with that in my use-ups and repurchased it. Okay, I have a dose of colors that I love. This is a lot like Bite Beauty Flat White. This is in creamer, and it is a great color to lighten. I'm going to put it in my backups, but I may drag it out occasionally and use it before I get it out. Okay, then I'm, I'm putting aside Dylan. I haven't used this enough to know if I love it yet. So I'm putting this to the side. Um, I think I'll keep out this Lawless. This is Lawless in Babe. This is just a beautiful pinky nude, and that's my favorite are the pinky nudes. So I'm going to keep that out. Um, Oyster Girl, I'm going to keep Oyster Girl out because this is beautiful over any color. It's beautiful over my pinks, my nudes, MAC Oyster Girl. I'm going to keep that out. My, Ma uh, my Milani, I love these Milani glosses. This one's brand new in Tropical Shine. This is going to go into backups, not because I don't love it, but because I have out French Tickler, and um, I want to use that up. These are both brighter peaches. So this is going into backup, but I love it. Okay, this is another lipstick that's a Becca that's a darker. Dune is the color of that. It's very nice, but because, um, you know, I've already got my peaches. Okay, this is another sort of like Oyster Girl, but it's a different color. Hold on. This is Polar Fleece, and I'll get this out when I'm done with Oyster Girl. Another lipstick. This is a lavender, um, and I love a lavender. I'm keeping this out. I'm going to keep this out to go with pinks. Okay, that looks way dead, but it's beautiful over a baby pink, and I love that in the um, wintertime with my pinks. Okay, then out on my desk, I have a brow setter, and I'm going to keep this out. I like to keep a brow product out. 
Okay, I have another primer, and that's the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Okay, y'all, I may keep this out because it's so tiny, it won't take up much room, and it'll get used. Okay, and then I have um, this highlighter on there that is in High Beam, and I love this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it out or not. I'm going to set it over here, and we'll decide. Okay, so now I'm going to put these things back on here, and then we will pick out my foundation. Okay, and then I'm going to put my little brow setter in there. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, let's go through my foundations. For my foundations, I'm going to keep out three. And I can pretty much tell you what this will be really, really quick. For the daily wear, I'm going to keep out the Givenchy. This is a beautiful skin finish that I can just throw on every day and not have to think about it. I'm going to keep out my Dior Skin Glow. It's two bottles because I have 1.5 and 0.5. I need right in between that. 1.5 is pretty good, but I'm going to keep out both of those, but they count as one. Okay, I'm going to keep out my flower, and I have two colors of that. The L1.5, no, the L3, the nude L3 is my perfect color. I'm going to keep out the flower. For more of a velvety, luminous, like a kind of a glowy finish. Okay, and then I'm going to keep out this NARS Radiant Glow that I almost threw away, y'all. And I love this so much. Today, I wore these two, the Givenchy and the NARS. It is so beautiful, I can't even tell you. Okay, so that is four. I'm going to keep five. And the other one that I'm going to keep is going to be this Estee Lauder. Futurist Hydra Rescue, and I have to tell y'all this broke my heart much more than I thought it would. That was way harder than I thought it was going to be. But with these five, you know, that's good for any day. And I can still use these. I'm just going to have to go seek them out to use them. Oh, I kind of want to keep this one too. This will be beautiful in the wintertime over a powder. It's such a beautiful glow for the winter time. Mmm, beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna keep six. Okay, and then y'all, I think for blush, bronzer, and highlighter, I think I'm gonna pick out a face palette to keep over there. And then if I want specific blushes or whatever, I can come over here. But a face palette, just to keep one face palette out in front of me, I would have a face palette getting used, for one, and it would be so streamlined over there. I love this NARS. I love the highlighter and I love the blushes, but I don't want shiny bronzer all the time. But, that doesn't really matter. I could take a bronzer with me. I love this Natasha Denona palette. The highlighters and the blushes. And again, I would take a bronzer with me. I could change these out weekly. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change these out weekly. So this week, I'll start with... You know what? I'm going to start with the NARS. I'm going to start with this NARS, and I'll just change my face palettes out weekly. And then if I want to use other blushes, I'll come over here and pull from my backups, which I know I want I know I want to. I could also take, ooh, this is beautiful. Okay, so which one do I want? <laughs> Y'all help me. I think I'm going to take, okay, let's take this one. Let's take, no, I'm going to take the NARS. Okay, we're going to take the NARS. And then, and then for a bronzer to keep over there. Um, okay, I'm just going to grab one because I can switch these out as often as I want to. And that makes it less scary. Oh, I could give this some love. This has gotten no love for me. The Hourglass, I could take that. Ooh, the Marc Jacobs. I haven't used that in forever. Okay, I'm just going to pick one because I only have to keep it for the week. I'm going to pick these two that I'm gonna keep Amazing. out. So I'm gonna put these two palettes into this drawer. 
and let's see, I'm going to move these over here. That's too tall. All right, and let's look in my drawer and the powders. All right, then in my drawer down here we have powders, and okay, this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star I'm keeping because every day I contour with this. I contour my nose and my eyes, and I like the highlighter too. That's a good daily, so this will be a constant. Okay, I have an Urban Decay Touch Up Powder that I love. I have all of my hourglasses. Love those. Charlotte Tilbury, Elf, The It, Bye Bye, The Too Faced. And these are all touch-up powders. These and the hourglasses. The one, the one I'm going to keep out, okay, this is a Charlotte Tilbury and a backup. And I'm going to keep one of these out. Yeah, this is my new one that's going to go in backup. And this is going to be definitely out. I will always have one of these out. And then for a bonus, um, another one for blurring, I'm going to keep out the It Bye Bye. And I'll also keep out <laughs> one of these Dirty Hour glasses. Um, and this is a good one, the Diffused Light. Yeah, the Diffused Light, I love that for a touch up. Sometimes on my lid, I love to use that on my eyes. So I'm going to keep out these three. And I will put the Hourglass, the Urban Decay, the Too Faced, the Elf. I will put all of these in backup. Okay, I will also keep out the Milani Prep Set and Go. I wear this all the time. I prime my eyes with it. Now, the Nikia Joy Powder. This is a finishing powder. The Hourglass is a finishing powder. Both of these are beautiful. The Nikia Joy is like velvet. And the hourglass is very blurring. I'm going to keep the hourglass out because this is what I'm using up. I'll keep the hourglass out. No, you know what? I'm going to keep both of those out because I use the Nikia Joy to finish after I do my makeup. And I use this for touch-ups during the day. So I'll keep both of these out. Okay, the NYX HD powder, I'll put that into backup. Oh, the flower. This is interchangeable with the Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm going to keep this out because I'm using it up. And look how much has already been used up. I'm putting this into backup. This is the Meteorites Pressed Powder. It is beautiful. I never pick this up. Never. And back here, I have the Meteorites Little Pearls. I don't pick this up. I'm putting both of these into backup because I've got my hourglass out. Not that it's exactly the same, but it's close enough. So I'm putting those into backup. Okay, then I've got a blush out that I use all the time. I use this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Love Glow. And I use this over cream blushes. And I'm going to keep this out because this can be a daily. This can be just something... Yeah, I think this is always going to stay out. But I'm going to put it up in my little vanity with my face palettes. Okay, then I also have this Bare Minerals Invisa Powder. And I use this the same way I use the Film Star. So I'm going to put this one in backup and keep the Film Star out. Okay, I like to keep cream bronzers out. I pretty much use one every day. And I have these three in my drawer. I'm keeping the milk out. The Fenty Beauty's a little fessier. Sometimes it turns muddy on me. I have to use use this before my foundation. So I'm going to put this in backup. Actually, that may be chopping block. I'll keep testing it, but um, I like the milk better than I like the Fenty. Um, and I think it's just the color. The formula is real good on that. I think it's the color, but I'm going to keep the milk out. And this Sculpt Wand, I never remember to use this, but it's nice. I think I could use that up in about two weeks if I actually used it. I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to keep these two liquid bronzers out and I'm going to put them up in my vanity. Okay, then all of this stuff over here, this and um, these things, I'm going to keep these out. That's a blush. I'm going to put in backups. So that's a Lancome blush. Um, I'm going to keep all of these where they are because these are concealers, lip liners, um, milk jumbo sticks. These are just miscellaneous things. 
So I will take this brush and put it where it goes, this hourglass brush. Put my puff over here to organize. My prep setting glow, I'm gonna put this into backup. This is almost interchangeable with the hourglass, but I don't like it as much. So I'm gonna put this into backups and we'll decide on that later. My color cleaner for cleaning brushes during application. Okay, y'all, I don't remember where we were because my memory card filled up and I've been down for about 30 minutes. But I did think about something while I was waiting. First of all, cream blush. Okay, I picked out three cream blushes because I like to use cream blush every day. So I picked out three of my favorites, the Melon by Flower, Petal Poppin' by Fenty, which is just a real pretty pink, pretty for spring or winter or fall or whatever. Then the Glow Play by MAC is my favorite. And that, I got it out in Groovy, and um, I think I like that. If I don't, I'll go pick another color, but I think I like the Groovy. And so I'm going to take all of my blushes and put them in here with my other things. So I've got my blushes, my bronzers, and my highlighters in the drawer. And this is looking way cleaner. Okay, and then all of these things, these are all things I'm testing. So I'm taking those off, and I'm going to put these over, well, mostly testing. And I'm going to put these over in a bin of things that I am testing out. Okay, now I'm going to clean this off, and we will see what we're left with. So this is what we have. We're all nice and cleaned off. I'm really glad I removed that spice rack. I'm going to put that in my closet. And then this is so much more doable. We've got my setting sprays. I did remember I had a Morphe's over there. So I got a Morphe. I, I love that for getting the powder look down. So I just added that and kept everything else out, the primers, the foundations, and I can change those out whenever I want. Like I don't have a hard and fast rule. Um, lipsticks, my bronzer, I may need to put this down here with my other bronzers. So that may go down here. Wait, oh, in my drawer, much better, much better. And that's still a lot of products. But it's much more manageable. And two of these, these two, are almost out. So anyway, I am really happy with how, how this turned out. So. Okay, y'all, I have a little update for you. First of all, it's the next day after we cleaned the vanity, my vanity desk off. And I loved getting ready this morning, feeling more organized and not having so many choices. Loved it. A couple of changes I made. This Fenty cream was on the chopping block, and so I was like, I want to use that. And so I tried this this morning, and I love it, and I'm going to put it over here, and I'm going to go between the milk and this. I don't have that many creams. And then I'm also adding an eyeshadow over here that I can use any day I want to. If I'm in a hurry, this is the one I'm going to slap on. <laughs> but, you know, no hard and fast rule. I can go use any other eyeshadows I want. But I am going to keep one over here. And I'm gonna keep the Modern Renaissance over here. It is a good size, just to fit right here, um, so it doesn't look too cluttered, and I always get a good look with it. So if I'm in a hurry, that's the one I'm gonna grab. So anyway, that's my update. That's all I have for you in this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. So please like and subscribe, and I will see y'all soon.